If Mars once supported life, erosion may eventually uncover evidence of it. In Jezero Crater, Perseverance works on an old river delta. Atmospheric processes continue to affect the Martian surface. High-altitude ice clouds change how quickly the ground cools at night and warms in the day. At first it sounds odd, but erosion on Mars doesn't just break things down, it also uncovers older layers that would stay hidden otherwise. Erosion removed upper deposits and opened access to ridges, rock pillars and carbonate-bearing areas. Mars constantly creates these small windows into older times. When lone steady winds scrape against exposed rock, they remove thin surface coatings and bring older minerals into view. Dust columns sweep across plains and brush away loose grains. As this happens over thousands or even millions of years, patches of terrain open up and show parts of Mars that formed far earlier than the surface around them. The same process can damage signs of past environments. Radiation constantly strikes the ground and changes the chemistry of carbon-based material. Perchlorates in the soil become reactive under strong ultraviolet light and can break apart organic molecules. Wind abrasion removes the top grains and exposes deeper layers, the same harsh conditions. Tests on Earth under Mars-like environments show that most organics at the surface do not last long unless they are locked inside clays, carbonates or silica-rich structures.
Maven's orbital survey added another piece to the puzzle. Its instruments found areas in the crust with magnetic activity still strong enough to push away some incoming particles from the Sun. Over these regions, Maven measured lower levels of radiation compared to surrounding areas. Rocks in these spots have been exposed to less radiation over long periods of time. Carbon-based material can last longer in these zones. Radar from the Martian orbit detects hidden channels and layer deposits under the surface. Together, these readings show how erosion on Mars changes the surface while deeper layers stay closer to their original state. Crater walls show dark streaks that grow and fade with changing seasons. Large temperature swings crack rocks and create new fragments that feed the planet's dust cycle, showing long-term climate patterns. They may contain older or better preserved material than anything at the surface today. The terrain is accessible today because erosion gradually took away older overburden. Storms send fine particles across wide areas and reshape dunes. Sherlock's ultraviolet scanning instrument has detected organic comparable signatures in several of these mineral samples. Mars is still changing in smaller ways.
Curiosity's Chem Camp studies these changes in precise detail. Chemical contrast across a few millimeters showed how fast surface conditions can change compared to the long stable history inside the rock. Each laser shot removes a tiny piece of rock and produces a brief flash. Light from that flash shows which elements were in that small area. This lets the rover map out tiny chemical differences across grains no bigger than a piece of coarse dust. Ingale crater Chemchem has measured water-related signals near small cracks, oxidation patterns inside iron-rich minerals and signs of past evaporation inside small modules. If Mars still holds any early chemical records, these locations may offer the best chance of finding them. Together erosion and magnetic shielding create a mix of exposed and protected regions on the planet. Gale crater erosion has opened pathways into thick clay-rich layers left behind by ancient lakes. Curiosity's SAM instrument has detected also sulfur-linked compounds inside drilled samples. Curiosity once examined a pebble on an eroded surface. The top side had been shaped by wind for a long time, but the bottom side still showed minerals from an ancient lake. Erosion decides which rocks become reachable and which older layers show up at the surface. It exposes clays that record early water systems, carbonates that reflect old lakes chemistry, and silica-rich structures that can protect organics for long periods. In areas with magnetic shielding, erosion may uncover rocks that have taken less radiation damage than those in surrounding regions.
Dust movement affects solar panels and navigations. Erosion bedrock and channels offer natural paths for exploration and potential resource zones. will need to track how erosion changes equipment wear and surface stability. And if humans reach the planet, erosion will shape where they explore and what material they study.